Good afternoon, I'm Molly Kuehl. Today in BioNews, we're going to be covering a wide range of topics varying from men with mustaches to fake British accents. We'll be getting a sneak peek at Acid Nightmare, a movie that critics are calling the worst movie of the year. All this and more when we return. Humans are evolving at a rapid rate. What'll happen when there are too many of them and not enough oxygen for them all to breathe? You might be thinking, well, what do you have in mind? Self-induced zombie apocalypse. If some of them die off, we'll have enough oxygen. Think about it, folks. You've been warned. A message from Zombies for Life. This message does not represent the individual views of Miss Holloway, her baby, and or the Arts Academy of Benjamin Rush. All rights reserved, Tansy can fly, 2012. <laughs> Welcome back to BioNews. Ever heard of that ridiculous thing the Brits have called the metric system? Maybe you all, I don't know, failed a high school test over it? Regardless, we have our four correspondent, Nellie, who will be taking us through the ins and the outs of the metric system like a true Doctor Who fan. Hi. Nellie? I'm here to tell you guys about the metric system. We Brits have had it forever because, you know, it's the logical way to measure things. Um, in the metric system, all calculations work off of their base unit. There are three base units, grams, liters, and meters. Grams are used to measure weight, liters are used to measure liquids, and meters are used to measure length and height. Everything works in harmony with its base unit. For example, if you have a meter, one hundredth of that meter would be a centimeter. If you haven't already noticed, we use Latin prefixes in our system. Instead of having really weird, awkward numbers having to jumble them around like in the standard system, we have very set cookie-cutter ways to determine what a number is. Unlike the standard system, it is basic and easy to understand. A millimeter is an even. Point zero zero one. Milli means thousand in Latin, so the one is in the thousands place. A centimeter is point zero one, because in Latin, centi means a hundred. Therefore, we put the one in the hundredths place. Decimeter, same thing, point one. Deci means ten. We put it in the tenths place. It is all very Simple. What a fabulous place England must be. Let's go to Johnny with the viral video of the week. Johnny? Hey guys. In light of this week's Twilight ending, I decided to show a video all about Daniel Radcliffe. Now, you might be wondering now, Johnny, how does this relate to science? Well, so little high schoolers. There's a video floating around on the interwebs of Daniel Ratcliffe reciting the periodic table. Now, you might be wondering, Johnny, how did you find this? I spent most of my time on the weird parts of the internet. Just watch it. Backstage, who's told you about this? Yes. And I kind of immediately. Well, no, you don't have to. Do it. No, I will. Because I'm now like, don't. okay. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> so this is this is your party trick. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's very long. Basically, does it hand, just give a big shout if you know who Tom Lehrer is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So over there, yes, they couldn't oh, be more okay. excited. Okay. <laughs> so, Tom Lehrer, in, in my opinion, is the cleverest and funniest man of the 20th century, and I just, he's kind of my hero. And he wrote a song called The Elements, because he was a scientist, and it's basically, it's the name of every element in the periodic table. <laughs> um, and that's, that's my party piece. It's quite long, so do stop me if you just get bored. Okay. But I will, this kept me up last night, I was so nervous about doing this. Um, well, do I feel bad now? No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, okay, so. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and uranium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, and americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, ruthenium, vanadium, and anthium, and osmium, and acetine, and radium, and golden protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, and terbium, actinium, and rubidium, and boron, gallium, and iridium, and iridium, and silicon, 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 and bismuth, bromine, lithium, and iridium, and barium. And let's start the next verse. 
There's holmium helium. <laughs> There's holmium and helium and acumen erbium, phosphorus and francine and fluorine and terbium and manganese and mercury and of magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium. There's lead, praseodymium, platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium, and cadmium, and calcium, chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, and fermium, bacillium, and also mendelevium, arsenium, nobelium, and argon, radon, neon, zinc, ah, and argon, hold on, quiet, quiet. <laughs> Argon, radon, neon, krypton, xenon, zinc, and rhodium, and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin, and sodium. Now, pass. I can honestly say I have no idea what I just watched, but if you ever want to go grab a cup of coffee, John, call me. Um, now on to movie news. Critics are calling this the worst possible movie of all time. Not the season. Not the year. All time. Now, are they just saying that for the ratings? M. Night Shyamalan had nothing to do with this movie. So, staff here at Bio News, we're, we're a little bit skeptical. Let's roll the trailer and let you make your own opinion. pretty terrible, but not as terrible as the idea our intern Felicia had to make a little episode about the scientific method. Let's show that. Hello everybody, my name is Felicia. I'm an intern at Bio News. Currently, I don't have an office. I have to sit in the closet, but it's okay because I'll graduate one day. Maybe Molly will like me. Have you ever wondered about the typical Coke and Mentos experiment? You ever wonder why that happened? Of course not, because you're a high school student. You don't worry about things like that. Well, one day when you get into the real world, they're going to make you an intern. If you don't worry about things like Coke and Mentos. Because your blokes didn't know, soda is a saturated solution, and Mentos have tiny little bumps in them. They're, they work as what's called a nucleation site. Now, I just found this out this morning. I was getting everybody their coffee and I thought, well, I've got myself an afternoon now. Now, there's this thing called the scientific method. Now, you might be wondering, what is the scientific method? Well, I'm gonna tell you. The scientific method is a string of different Procedures the scientists must follow in order to have a very productive experiment. The order of these are observation, question, hypothesis, prediction, performing the experiment, and then drawing the conclusion. For my experiment, my observation is that soda is a saturated solution. Mentos have tiny bumps in them that could act as nucleation sites. My question is, well, I wonder if adding Mentos to my coat will make it explode. I'm an intern here at Bio News, and I spend a lot of my time browsing about the internet, usually with nothing much to do. So I've 
wandered onto the weird parts of it and I found Coke and Mintos experiments before. So based off of what I've read about the nucleation sites and based off of what I've seen, I'm going to predict that yes, it will explode. The hypothesis is that will explode due to the buildup of carbon dioxide in the bottle. I'm gonna go now and perform the experiment, so fingers crossed, wish me luck. Now that you got all of that out of the way, you can get down to the main point, the experiment. Now, what you're gonna need for this experiment, the materials, you're gonna need your Mentos. Everybody knows to do an experiment with Coke and Mentos, you need the Mentos. Then you need your Coke, you need a scissors, to, you know, cut stuff. And you're gonna need an assistant. There's my assistant. Come over here. That's my assistant. His name's Johnny. I. Let's get started. So now what you gotta do, and they've got these little plastic things and the coke. The bad for the environment. We like the environment at the news station at Bio News. So we're gonna cut it up. One moment. Get rid of the plastic. There we go. On a clean coke. I read on the internet that this can turn out to be a very messy experiment, so I've took it upon myself to do it outside, in the open, in nature. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, got it opened. Here we go. All right. Can I open the coke? And slowly, like a dinosaur. Like we're running away from a dinosaur. Very strategically. We're gonna put the Mentos in the cap. Here's the cap. The Mentos. Grab another. Right in, right, beautiful. Be right in there, look at that. Perfection. So now, final time, what's the hypothesis? It's gonna explode. All right, here's what we've all been waiting for. Waiting for it, Molly. One. wasn't very fun. So what did we learn by this experiment? I've now got coke in my backyard. It's probably going to be ants. But it's for science. Back to you, Molly. Oh, Felicia. Well, that's all the time we have for today, folks. Tune in next week when we talk about how antelope reproduce. Bye for now.